so much better and I have three cameras going on here. Hello, how you doing? Hey, what's up? And uh, so I can show you the whole ohm system in its entirety. We have the horn itself from the open horn MIDI system. Uh, there's the uh, pedal rack that we see here, which I use to control loops, effects, and the patches that go to each of the two channels. But that's not going to be my focus here in the first of the four videos in this series. Instead, in this first video, I'm just going to give you a very brief overview of the open horn itself uh, from a user's perspective. So by that I mean uh, the fingerings, the octave piece here, how does that work, how do you play the thing. In the second video, I will be explaining the biphonic capacities of the ohms, so the ability to use two separate MIDI channels to play two different synths if you want, uh, at the same time controlling each node uh, through three different alternative playing modes. 
In the third video I will show you the pedal rack that you just saw in action um, and I will also tell you how it connects to the, the Yoshimi synth which is my synth choice for the ohms right now. And then in the fourth and final video I'm going to uh, open up the open horn for you so that you can have a look inside the mouthpiece, see the breath sensor, uh, pitch bend sensor, the keys here and what's so special about them. Uh, the octave piece, the uh, thumb rest piece, which has a whole story of its own, and of course, uh, let you have a look inside at the bottom here where the electronics live. Uh, and I will have a brief, you know, how and why for each piece and uh, tell you uh, how they all fit together to make the open horn MIDI system. But as I mentioned, this first video here is uh, more about the user's perspective, so uh, it's more for the musicians, not so much for the makers. So I'll just very briefly now go over the fingerings for the ohms. For those of you familiar with saxophone fingerings, this would be instantly recognizable. I have a six finger basic setup where the notes are as follows, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C, right? And then we have some semitones in between, it's D, E flat, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, or A flat if you will, A, B flat, which is these two keys, or alternately, the A with this side key here, and then we have the B natural and the C, right? And then letting go of everything, we have a C sharp. And on top of the C sharp up here, this key right there is a D. Right, so you can give that much with your left hand, the side of your index finger, and you get a high D. And down here in the lower part of the register. So you can see we get down to a low B flat, this low B flat up to a high D in every octave. Which brings me to my next point, because the ohms has nine octaves available under your left thumb with these four keys here. Um, seven of them are easy to reach and the top and bottom extreme ones are a little tricky, but uh, you know, I don't use them very much, so that's fine. So let's have a look at it. Uh, I'm playing this bass note here, I'm just playing a C, sounds like this. And then I'm going to use uh, my thumb here to touch one or two keys at the same time. You'll see the seven basic octaves. Check it out. So those are seven octaves, very easily within reach. And then the uh, the eighth and ninth, oct ninth octave um, are played by uh, by touching three keys at the same time. So you just sort of lay your thumb across like this, and you can. You can play ridiculously high notes, uh, and the same for the bottom register. You lay your thumb across these three keys here, and you can play, well, basically farts. And it sounds like the end of the world. So, that wraps it up for this first video in the series on the Open Horn MIDI system. If you want more in-depth information, if you want to know about the hows and whys, and not just how I move my fingers, but how stuff works, then you will want to check out videos 2, 3, and 4. Uh, where I discuss uh, more details about that. But for now, I'll leave you with some music. Wow. Uh -huh.